Good evening, I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Within the past hour, it was reported by ESPN's Pete Thamel that former Kansas State quarterback Will Howard has committed to Ohio State. Howard appeared in 34 games over the four seasons with K-State, including an overtime upset of TCU in the 2022 Big 12 Championship. He passed for 5,786 yards and set a program record with 48 passing touchdowns. He also threw for 25 interceptions and added 19 touchdowns on the ground. Howard will take the place of former Ohio State starting quarterback Kyle McCord, who transferred to Syracuse in December. Looking at men's and women's Big Ten basketball games in action tonight, on the men's side, Penn State traveled to East Lansing to take on Michigan State. They are just about ready to tip off in that one. And at 8 p.m. tonight, Minnesota goes to battle with Michigan in Ann Arbor. On the women's side, Michigan and 14th ranked Indiana are just getting underway. And at 8 p.m. tonight, 10 and 3 Nebraska travels to Madison to take on the Badgers. Stick around for pregame coverage from Matt Coatney and Jeff Grish at 7:30 Central right here on the HRN. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour 1 of Sports Nightly is coming up next on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly, all the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Huskers ball, high right side, Mast shoots up another three, got it, he's three for three, Reek Mast. She will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Once the screen gets it from Markowski to the right elbow, back out top. Markowski will shoot a three. You betcha. Ties the game. A three-pointer by Markowski off the assist from Hayden. Lawrence with the ball. Cross court, mid court to Tominaga. Shoots up a 30-footer. Got it. Bang, bang, a ring. Tominaga with a three. Goes off the bounce, goes behind your back, works foul line, pots for three, top of the key. You betcha. Natalie Potts, the Big Ten Freshman of the Week with a triple. Ball knocked free, out of bounds, saved by Alec, clips it into Boogie, down the floor. Here comes a dunk by Jawan, hammers it home with the right hand. The net gets caught up on the rim. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome to another night of Sports Saintly here on the Huskers Radio Network. Last night we led you into the men's game against Indiana. Tonight we'll lead you into the women's game. As Cole just told you, the ticker is there up in Madison, Wisconsin, a tip off of 8 o'clock, a pregame coverage at 7.30. I am still in Orlando attending the National Strength Coaches Association convention. Jessica back in our Acres Broadcast Center. Man, Jessica, I thoroughly enjoy last night's game from yeah. PBA. What an effort by the Huskers, a 16-point win. There was so much in that game that I came away with a big smile on my face for. Yeah, hopefully we set up for another performance like that tonight, right, with the women. But it was uh, just a great performance, and that was – it was so fun to watch and a total team effort. I mean, I talked to Amy Williams about that, about the Maryland win, but – there were so many guys that made plays in key moments, and, and certainly Casey was the star of the show with his parents in attendance, um, getting a lot of camera time. But, you know, there's a lot of different guys that, that did what they had to do to win that one. Juwan Gary was diving on the floor. Josiah Alec was. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just a really impressive performance. And if they continue to play like that, they're going uh, to be a handful for some teams in the Big Ten moving forward. There was just, you know, about everybody that Coach Hoiberg put into the game did something well. Alec was diving all over the floor. Sam Hoiberg does his normal things where he makes a play here. There, Wilcher was phenomenal off the bench earlier. I hope his back is okay. I guess he had some spasms that kept him out of the end of that game. You mentioned Casey got hot. It was a night where Jawan Gary didn't do a whole lot, and but I think it shows the depth of that team that they don't need – everything firing for them to be a pretty competent basketball team. And, I, you know, I thought Indiana played okay. I think they probably would say they didn't play very good defense. But, you know, their big guy had 20 points. He was coming off of COVID. And uh, where I thought he played pretty well for them. But that's a pretty convincing win over one of the Blue Bloods in this conference. And you can almost see 
I think the Huskers' confidence starting to grow across the board. I think they're starting to really believe, hey, we got something special going on here. It's funny that you just mentioned, you know, yes, Juwan Gary didn't uh, score as much as he has been, but there were two plays that I remember that really stood out to me and key moments that he made, and that's kind of what he does. But there were that with every player, right? I mean, Sam Hoiberg came in. Like you mentioned, everybody kind of had – a moment that this team that when coach Hoiberg called their number that they they delivered in that moment and so yeah that was um that's big for this team and it was fun to see their celebration in the locker room but I think something to build off of and and playing a, a 40 minutes together and and not peaking I mean we, we've talked to both assistant coaches over the last couple of weeks and they still felt like they hadn't played a complete 40 minutes and so um getting Bryce or getting um Rink Mass back was big, and even though maybe he looked a, a little bit rusty offensively, um, just being able to get him back and you can see the presence that he brings and how he's able to to really uh, spread the floor, make things go. But there, there's just a lot of weapons, right? And um, Bryce Williams at times is just unguardable for whoever you put on him. And and so, yeah, it just in any given moment, somebody can really step up and, and on the offensive end and just be a nightmare uh, for the opposing defense. But uh, yeah, something to build off on, and and now they'll hit the road. They've got three of their next four on the road with Purdue next at home. So not a not an easy stretch here, but something certainly to build off of. You know, we mentioned it last time. You don't want to put too much on one game, but with the stretch of three out of four on the road, last time was really big, and I think they rose to the occasion. You used the word defense. How about forcing 19 turnovers last night? That was, to me, really one of the differences was they were getting buckets – off of turnovers, Indiana didn't turn Nebraska over a whole lot. And, you know, I, I, I think that's maybe one of the cultural changes in Coach Hoiberg's team is now more of a reliance on defense. And it started last year with, with the addition of Gary and Bandamel to the team, and they've carried that over. But their quick hands last night, getting deflected passes, stealing possessions in the game, uh, that's – that's really fun to watch, and I think this fan base is really starting to come. They're really starting to love this team because of that effort that they're putting on at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, you know, and, and we've seen them maybe cause some turnovers, but the way that they converted, the uh, uh, rate at which they converted turnovers into points last night was was really impressive. But again, you know, just having the conversations with the coaches on the coaches show uh, week in and week out and hearing about Juwan Gary, Sam Hoiberg, are kind of the defensive captains, but uh, that was an emphasis. And, and we saw it start to really turn the, turn the tide last year. And guys like Emmanuel Bandamel, Juwan Gary and Sam Griesel and, and the emphasis they put on the defensive end. And then, so you had some guys that were bought into that. And and a guy like C.J. Wilcher, who's really committed to improving on the defensive end, it might have been something that, as we heard Jake say last night, was an Achilles heel in the past. But he he dedicated himself to being better on the defensive end. And so they, they really bought into it. And we've seen wins this year where things weren't pretty on the offensive end, but they were able to rely on their defense to win those games. Uh, but, you know, Juwan, Gary, Sam Hoiberg are the defensive captains. And the guys that they brought in are guys that are also committed to being good on the defensive end. Bryce Williams, that was something Coach Hoiberg said when they signed him, was good on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, certainly rink mast and, and just guys that can fit what they want to do defensively that are not just offensive players. And so, and then, you know, when you have that culture, you got the guys coming back that believe in it, that were a part of it last year, and then you add guys coming in that also believe in it. Yeah, I mean, and I think they've now seen, too, that when things aren't going good offensively, oh, and Josiah Alex certainly is um, definitely yeah. good on the defensive end, too. Uh, someone that was brought in that was really good on the defensive end. It takes a lot of pride in that and, and doesn't necessarily care if he scores but but wants to play his role. But when you get all that coming together and, and then you see that some of the times that the defense can, can get them through some situations or help them win games when things aren't going right in the offensive end, I think that um, – uh, provides dividends and, and proves uh, to be really, really important for a team moving forward that they can continue to build off of it. Jessica, I was flipping back and forth last night between Kent and Jake and then the BTN broadcast. Sean Morris was doing the analyst work last night. I really think Sean does a good job. He was raving about Josiah Alec. He said, you know, statistically, this isn't going to look like a great game, but he is so active, great defense, getting key rebounds, poking passes away starting breaks for Nebraska. He just loved Alex's game last night. 
at PBA. All right, so this team, Jess, is now 12 and 2. So I went back today and I go, okay, what has the, what has Husker basketball been since February 1st of last year? So the last and it ended up being the last nine games of last year. Well, Nebraska is 18 and 5, five. Yeah. over their last 23 games. That is impressive. And that shows you, I think, where this program is. So you can sit there and go, yeah, 12 and 2, but who have they beaten? But when you go back and add last year's the last nine games, and those were all conference games where Nebraska went 6 and 3 in that stretch, and you add it to what they've done to start this year, 18 and 5. That's a heck of a stretch of basketball right there. You didn't have to do all that research. It was in Seamus's notes, by the way. <laughs> but no. Well, I, that was part of my research is reading Seamus's notes. Oh, oh, that's it. That's what the research was. <laughs> but no, I mean, and again, is it was disappointing. The, the group last year certainly went in to the season wanting to get to the postseason, wanting to play in a postseason tournament. But, but when they left and when that season ended, you felt like they're – what the impact that they had made was not for not just because they didn't make it to the postseason. You kind of felt the tide turning some of the things that were in place and the guys that left and instilled some of the things in the guys that were coming back. It kind of felt like there it was something that they could build off of. And I even talked, I think, to CJ Wiltshire about that, that, you know, they did, they did, they could take a lot away from how they finished the season last year into this season and and now into Big Ten play too because it was in Big Ten play when they started winning some of those games and and beating teams that maybe they hadn't beat before or you know winning close games and, and how they put things together at the end of the season that they could carry that over. And so I, I think it definitely provided some momentum going into this season and those guys at the end of last season started to believe, figured out how to win and now they the guys that were coming back off of that team added with some guys that have played a lot of basketball and have won in at their previous places they believe that they can win and it's not like oh can't you know questioning if they can they certainly believe when they step on the court that they should win every game crypto wants to know jessica if you've arranged for case's parents to to be moved permanently here to lincoln for right? the last two months because Boy, when they're in town, he seems to play at another level, doesn't he? I know, and, and it's just electric. I mean, the roof was about to come off the place at PBA. I, I just, he's so fun to watch, and I love how when he celebrates, you know, there are some players, I, I mean, I won't mention specifically a name, but that plays at Iowa that maybe can come off a little bit taunting. But I don't, he Casey might taunt a little bit sometimes on the road, but for me, it just seems like he's just so joyful and and how he and he just loves the game so much, and it's contagious and it's really been evident since he stepped on campus in Lincoln and before he really burst onto the scene in Big Ten play last year. But his teammates love him, and he has been adored by his teammates from the second he stepped on campus, and I think that's it because it is it's infectious. You want to play with him. He's a great teammate. And then when he can shoot the lights out of a gym, like he got hot last night, it is certainly infectious and it can light up a crowd in a hurry. That was so much fun last night. And I think, I think, and the students aren't even back. Students aren't back for another 10 days or so, but we, we need to get some of our help uh, back there. Cole's uh, been working his tail off. So we need to get some of those guys back into town. But so you have another opportunity next week with Purdue, who's the number one team in the country. We'll be here on Tuesday night. And then by the next time that the team's back home for Northwestern on the 20th, the students ought to be back into town. And I, I just think PBA is going to just be unhinged for the rest of the season. And this team deserves it. This team has a chance to kind of set a mark at Nebraska with what they're doing and, and the way they are trending. Looking forward to that. Before we get to the first break, I do want to mention the, one of the big stories for college sports today, Jessica, was the announcement that ESPN has come to an agreement with the NCAA for a lot of the championships. Now, this does not – thank goodness, does not include football. Football is not a part of this. And really the men's basketball tournament is not either. But they do, ESPN does have the contract for the volleyball championships, the women's basketball championships, the softball championships, the baseball championships, and I think men's and women's gymnastics and maybe men's and women's tennis is part of this as well. And what it is going to do is going to continue a trend that we have seen where Volleyball's championship game was on ABC a month ago when the Huskers played Texas. The women's basketball final will be on ABC. And then I think the baseball and softball championships will also be on ABC. It's a very lucrative contract, good for the NCAA, 
good for college athletics because all members share in that pot of gold. But I was glad and kind of relieved that football's not included. I really hope Fox gets in there and gets a hand in some of the, the, the upcoming 12-team playoff for college football. But this is a big number uh, for ESPN. A lot of people weren't sure if they would stay around there. But I think it's for some of the sports like women's basketball and volleyball, it's really cool the fact that it's going to be their championship games, at least will be on ABC moving forward. Yeah, absolutely huge. And we've seen just how that's – it's paid off for them, right? I mean, when they put the women's basketball game last year on ABC, actually it was a couple, I think it was two or three years ago when they first did, you saw the numbers were there. And then last year, certainly um, with over 9 million, I think that watched the championship game, softball, the numbers have been growing, they've been there. And so then, yeah, I think they're seeing when when you put it on the channel, people watch it. And so um, great for those, those sports to be rewarded, but I'm with you. I, I hope that that, College football playoff is spread around and not not even just to Fox, like some of the, the other partners at the Big Ten, maybe a CBS and NBC that can maybe get involved, too. And uh, I, I yeah, I just don't want to see ESPN continue to run the dynasty or, or just have, you know, the thumb and the mark completely on college football and, and to spread it out. And uh, but, yeah, I, I agree. It's a good thing for for college sports to be able to have that exposure. Yeah. Um, and the bowl games are primarily controlled by ESPN. I think Fox had. One or two, I know they have the Holiday Bowl. Uh, ESP or CBS had the Sun has had the Sun Bowl for years, but primarily the bowls have been under the ESPN umbrella and control. And now with with the Big Ten not in business with the ESPN, uh, you you just hope that that doesn't affect who's going to get into the playoff moving forward. So that's why I was glad to see when this came out today. That's the first thing I thumbed through. I said, okay, does this include football? It does at the FCS level, but it does not at the FBS level, and that's obviously where the, the neighborhood that the Huskers live in. So that number is probably going to be gigantic, and I do I have heard Fox is very interested in being a part of those discussions, and, and that's good from our standpoint since here at the Big Ten, our relation cer- certainly is with Fox and, as you mentioned, NBC and CBS. But some big numbers there, as I think we're trending, where athletic departments are probably going to start compensating these these student athletes moving forward. I know there's a big NCAA convention in Phoenix next week where Charles Baker, who's the NCAA president, wants to put forth a proposal that schools start compensating student athletes moving forward. Trev Alberts has talked about this a couple of times on his show uh, moving forward. All right, uh, here's what we have on the program tonight. Dylan Riola was at the game last night. Jessica caught up with the Husker now signed quarterback and part of this recruiting class. Talked to him a few weeks ago for our recruiting day show. We'll replay that conversation for you here in a couple of minutes. Matt Coat, he's going to join us live from the Cole Center up in Madison as he gets set up and gets ready to call tonight's matchup between the Huskers and the Badgers. We'll also hear later on in hour two, an abbreviated hour two, from Natalie Potts. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient Sales and service locations, we're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back to hear Jessica's conversation with what could be QB1, Dylan Riola. We'll hear that for coming up next. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Innovation Refunds does not provide tax or legal advice. We work with an independent network of tax professionals and will share information with them to evaluate and process your claims. Terms and conditions apply. Ty is a paid spokesman. I'm Ty Burrell, actor and small business owner. You can trust Innovation Refunds with your small business's ERC claim because of their SOC 2 Type 1 security compliance. Without this, how can you be sure a company can protect your information? It's not like here on the radio where all you need to be secure is a sensor button. My password to my bank account is Ty's cool password one. Uh-oh. Luckily, Innovation Refunds is more reliable. Go to innovationrefunds.com or call 1-843-REFUNDS to get started. 
Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. At your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger. Starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the Works Package and get ready to go. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. A few drinks at home after work, a couple of hits at a party with some friends, over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. That's the best way I could describe how it felt for me when I would walk out of either the casino or the kino parlor, is that you just felt that wave of heat, that wave of oppression kind of hit you, that wave of dread. Mike is a former problem gambler. Right away, you would always know that that drive home would be the worst moments of why. Why did I do this again? Why can't I stop this? Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres. They're the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Well, signing day was back on December the 20th, and on that day, just got a chance to catch up with Dylan Riola, who was at the basketball game last night. Got a great picture with the Tominaga family. That was kind of cool to see. Uh, and here's Jessica's conversation from a couple weeks ago with Dylan. Well, we welcome in the quarterback, Dylan Riola. It's been a crazy long journey and process for you. Congratulations. You're officially a Husker. 
Take me through the process and, and your decision and how you ended up back with the Huskers over the weekend. Yeah, thank you for having me on the show. Um, you know, first, you know, Nebraska, I always believed it was in my blood. It was in my heart um, for a long time. And, um, you know, I just felt that I could be a part of something special that would be bigger than myself. And, um, you know, Lincoln, Nebraska is a, a great place. And the University of Nebraska is is a special place to, um, you know, have a, have a college experience and, you know, play sports with, you know, some of the best fans. How has it been getting to know Coach Rule and this coaching staff? What did you see and like out of what the direction that they had in place there in their first season? I love what I, what I have seen so far. Um, I think the thing that separates Coach Rule from a lot of people um, is just the way he connects with his players. Um, and I think that's huge to, you know, for a team like Nebraska, you connect with your players, you, you can really have a bigger purpose for playing um, on the football field than just, all right, I want to go play football. You know, you, you look left, you look right, you want to play for those guys. And I think that's what Coach Will does a great job of, of establishing and, and you know, um, having his guys ready to play on, on Saturday night. Love that. Well, you've made several trips to Lincoln. You've been to multiple sporting events. You had the crowd chanting your name. You've taken pictures with babies. And I'm sure your, your social media has just been blown up. Uh, what does it mean to you have to, the ha to have the kind of reaction and reception from Husker Nation? I think it just goes to show how much, you know, they know their sports, you know, not just their football, um, but they know all their sports. They know their volleyball. They know basketball, women's basketball, softball. I just think it shows that, you know, you have you have a great fan base that, you know, you, you look forward to, to playing for. Um, and and just to, they're going to be there and support you through the ups and downs. And, and you know, you, you've seen that since, you know, since Nebraska has came up on the map. You know, they sell out Memorial Stadium every single game. And I think and that, that speaks to, you know, the kind of fans and, you know, they have, they have a they have a you know, a lot of fun coming to the Nebraska events. In this 2024 signing class, there are a number of legacies whose dads played for this program. What does ne Nebraska, the N, what does it mean to you? Yeah, I think it, it means, you know, a lot more than just football. I think it's nationwide. Um, and I think it's special that you get to, you know, wear that, that N on your helmet with the red stripe down the middle and, know that you're representing something, you know, more than just that team that year, but all the people that came before you and laid that foundation, you know, with Coach Osborne, Coach Solich, you know, and all those coaches that came up through to help, you know, keep Nebraska and, and leave Nebraska where it's at right now. You come from a very tight-knit family, of course. Uh, you know, your relationship with, with Donovan, who's on staff here, is, has been reported on how close you guys are. Uh, how excited are you to get to be on the same team as him, to get to work with him and his offensive line that, hey, boy, they made lots of improvements. A lot of those guys are coming back. How exciting is that for you? I think it's super exciting. You know, family is huge in, in my culture. You know, the Hawaiian Polynesian culture, I think, is huge. So I think to have him on the staff is awesome. But, you know, to the O-line's credit, I think it's, that's a special relationship that not a lot of people understand. You know, the, the O-line, they get they don't get a lot of credit, and they get the most hate. So, I, you know, I think it's they need to make sure that they're loved up the most and, you know, that that they're valued and, you know, that, that I make sure I take care of them. Oh, that's awesome. So how did you get into playing quarterback? Why quarterback? And, and what went into you becoming the nation's best quarterback? I think it was, it's, it's not just what, I, what I've done. You know, it's the sacrifices my parents have made to, to get me to training. Um, and I think quarterback's a unique position. You know, I'm very strong in my faith. And I, and I believe, you know, strongly that, that God's put me in this position to, you know, spread his word and then spread his kingdom throughout um, you know the whole world so I, I think that's a that's a special platform that i have but you know i think it is bigger than it's bigger than just you know being the nation's top quarterback i think it, it's the relationships you you build along the way and and how you you know you can meet so many cool people that you know hey you don't you might not think you're gonna meet up with them but you know you end up doing that so i think football is a great game it, it always comes full circle and, and it's a great opportunity you know it's the ultimate team game 
I love that. Great, great answer there. So, you know, there's a lot of expectations that come along with having a dad that was the kind of football player that your dad was, but then also to go along with that, you're the top quarterback in the nation. How do you manage those expectations? I guess, you know, there might be some young young recruits that are listening. What would be your advice on, on how to manage those expectations? I think you try not to pay attention to those expectations because I believe, you know, from my growing up, you know, you pay attention to expectations, you're going to miss, you're going to miss all those steps and all those memories and, and all of those, those moments that, that you cherish, you know, with your teammates, if you're focused on that, on that end goal, rather than focusing on every step of that journey and understanding, you know, you, you have a lot of people that, that are pulling for you and you have a lot of people that aren't. So filtering that out and really just, and just trusting your family that they have their best interests in mind for you. Um, and I think, you know, I think the biggest thing on that one is that you have to, you have to just enjoy the journey. You know, you, you look too far ahead, you'll get lost in the mix. If you if you if you're not staying up to, you know, what you need to, you'll get lost as well. So I think you just got to stay the journey. Trust trust the people that you trust, and, and trust the coaching staff. Great perspective. Well, we saw a lot of young wide receivers making plays for this offense. Last season, a lot of those guys coming back. How excited are you about some of the weapons you're going to get to throw the ball around to? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, these guys work hard. They, they made a lot of plays. They played a lot of football last year. Um, I think I'm just most excited to, to get in there and, and go to work with them. I think that that's what makes football so great is you get to go to work with your guys um, day in and day out, um, earn their respect that way. Um, and you know that, that they're going to want to put a lot of work in, and so am I. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of weapons, um, and you know, they're, they're, they're ready to go. All right, just got a few fun questions for you to close this, this interview out. Who was your favorite player or athlete in any sport growing up? Um, growing up, I mean, I would say still say I'm growing up, so I really like Patrick Mahomes. You know, I try to model my game after him. Okay, favorite cereal? Fruity Pebbles, easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy. You didn't even have to think about that one. Uh, favorite hobby outside of football? I, I do love cutting hair. Cut my brother's hair, my dad's hair, a bunch of my teammates' hair. Um, and really just hanging out with my family. You know, cutting hair is fun. Get to enjoy my, my brother and my dad. Um, and, and, you know, hanging out with my family is a lot of fun. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Spotify Wrapped. Who's your number one artist? Oh, my favorite artist, um, I would say, would be uh, Rod Wave or um, Luke Combs. Awesome. All right, last question. Rank these cookie flavors. All right, I got four for you. Four, fourth being the worst, uh, first being the best. Chocolate chip, peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, macadamia nut. Okay. Um, oatmeal raisin is easily fourth. I'm not a <laughs> fan of those. Chocolate I agree. Chip, I agree. I'll go one with chocolate chip. Macadamia nut, I'll go two. And peanut butter, three. Oh, awesome. A lot of fun. Great perspective. Appreciate your time and enjoy it. I know it's been a long journey for you, but uh, congratulations. And we can't wait to see you here on campus in Lincoln. Thank you so much for having me. Go Big Red. Uh, already just mature, but I love, you know, the, the going back, how he wanted to be part of something special and building something. And Greg, you and I talked a lot about it leading up to the week before he signed about just how much his heart is here and how much he believes in it because this is what he grew up loving. And so I think you can already see that he's already involved with the recruits that are here this week. And he was at the basketball game. I have a feeling we'll see him at a lot of sporting events. And uh, it's just really cool to see out of a, your quarterback that this how much it means to him to be here in Lincoln. There's a certain maturity about him that's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, this is a guy that's had a lot of spotlight on him already at a young age, and he seems to have handled it really well. His choice in cookies is obviously flawed, but we can work on that. I mean, he's not a finished product by any uh, stretch of the imagination. But my guess is you're going to be talking to Dylan quite a bit down the years. I cannot wait. I know the coaches can't wait to get him here on a permanent basis. I think he just flew in this week, as you mentioned, to help with some of these transfer portal guys that are here for the week. But I know he's anxious. I know Husker Nation cannot wait to watch him. I think we're going to sell some tickets for that spring game to watch him out there in late April. Yeah, I think so. Uh, better get on those tickets before they sell out, right? Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Jessica's going to check in with Matt Cote, who's getting set up and ready to broadcast 
the Huskers matchup tonight against the Wisconsin Badgers. We'll have that conversation coming up next. I'm Ty Burrell, actor and small business owner. I'm going to show you my steps for making the perfect radio ad. This one's about innovation refunds and the ERC. First step, be relatable. I like pizza and puppies. Two, cold hard info. The ERC is a tax credit for eligible businesses that kept employees on payroll in 2020 and 2021. So if you qualify, Innovation Refunds Network of Independent Tax Attorneys could help you claim it. Three, go to innovationrefunds.com or call 1-843-REFUNDS. Innovation Refunds does not provide tax or legal advice. We work with an independent network of tax professionals. Terms and conditions apply. Ty is a paid spokesman. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nottle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Nottle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Nottle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at woodhouse.com where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day-by-day donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger, starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the Works Package and get ready to go. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL like no other dear roads trails and rivers you ready for some suv action toyota suvs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails dress up for a night out on the town 
or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corwin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, Midwest Premier John Deere Dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. I'm Jessica Cooney and joined by Matt Coatney sitting courtside up in Madison, Wisconsin at the Cole Center, getting set for Nebraska, Wisconsin women's basketball. Coat, how you doing? Thanks for uh, joining us. Hey, you know, it is as warm in this arena, Jess, as I've been in here in the last 10 years. This is a basketball slash hockey arena. <laughs> and uh, that, seriously, one time I came here and I wore a winter coat uh, on the sidelines. But uh, excited for this one tonight. Should be fun. All right. Well, before we dive into this one and, and uh, preview this one, let's go back to Sunday. What a performance. And I know how much you love beating Maryland uh, when yes. the Huskers beat Maryland. How about that performance? What were your big takeaways from how the Huskers were able to get that win over Maryland? Team effort, mm -hmm. Jessica. And it starts with Natalie Potts, who did not come off the floor in the second half. She had a double-double with a career high uh, 13 rebounds, 11 of those in the in the second half. But it was her defense, I think, that really took over that game. Alexis Markowski, who only had two points against the Terps in the previous matchup last year and, and a loss at PBA, so solid. 20 points and 10 rebounds. It stayed on the floor with only one foul. But I just think it's so much of a team effort. You're not going to beat Maryland if you just have one player get hot. And it was it was all about the rebounding. It starts with Markowski and Potts. But the offensive rebounding was exceptional. You know, Maryland always is one of the top rebounding teams, not only in the Big Ten, but throughout the nation. And Nebraska uh, was the better rebounding team, tougher team. And I think all of those things are what I'll remember about that win. Well, Amy Williams on her show the other day, we were talking in between the breaks and, you know, she was just saying how hard it is to go up and play at Wisconsin, but then wedged in between the big win over Maryland and then the big one coming up against Indiana. How are the vibes? How are the team? Uh, how's the team approaching this one here tonight? Well, I think they're pretty loose. You know, uh, I think that's one of the, the things that I always look at is the bus rides. Uh, we just came over on the bus. I got off the bus literally 15 minutes ago. Very loose team today. Uh, a lot of joking. Alexis Markowski right at the front of of uh, keeping everybody loose. Callan Hake is somebody who also in the middle of keeping everybody loose. I think this has been a team that that's, they do a lot of singing on the bus. Uh, they're all together with their same music. I think they're very, very aware looking at shoot around today how dangerous Wisconsin can be because – in their last game, they didn't play um, with their best player, Sarah Williams, who's been out sick. Marissa Mosley, the coach for Wisconsin, said during her press conference yesterday that Williams will play today. I'm looking at her right now. She's warming up, and she is a handful. So um, the Nebraska team, uh, the returners remember playing Wisconsin last year. They remember Williams having 18 points against the Huskers in Lincoln at PBA. So uh, they're not going to take Wisconsin lightly, I don't think. All right, Code, I asked this to Jake last night, and I'll be interested to hear your take in regards to this women's basketball team. Almost to the midway point, who's your midseason MVP for Nebraska women's basketball? Oh, what a great question. Uh, I don't have one right now. At times, <laughs> it's been Jazz Shelley. At times, it's been Alexis Markowski. And at times, it's been Natalie Potts. I think if for, for the whole season, it would have to be Markowski if you force me to, uh, to make an assessment. Leading the Big Ten in rebounding, leading the team in scoring, eight double doubles and this is by far lex's most consistent uh, season i think just because jazz had some injury problems right before the creighton game and 
um, during the time the Huskers were down at the tournament in St. Petersburg. That's the only only thing I would put Lex in front of Jazz. But, you know, Jazz has been so exceptional throughout her career. But Huskers would not have 10 wins without Natalie Potts, uh, Jess. I mean, she has made this team so much better on the defensive side of the ball. And, uh, you know, her offense is getting better and better, and it's not been bad. She is such a, a different tempo for a big player than Alexis Markowski that it forces other teams to to for to play Nebraska differently. And, and Nebraska's offense has been it's been pretty good throughout the season. All right, I've got a challenge for you here. I'm not yeah. sure if you're going to be able to do it, but you know we're, we're pushing pack PBA on Sunday. It's a big matchup with Indiana, but a lot of special things surrounding it. Of course, Jordan Hooper's. Jersey being retired, honoring that team that she's a part of that won the Big Ten title. I know how much she means to you, and yeah. um, I can't imagine what it was like getting to call her games, but uh, in a minute or so, how special is it for you that that this is happening for Jordan Hooper, that we're going to see her number raised to the rafters? Jess, this is how special it is to me. I have two daughters who um, went to high school here in Nebraska, and they followed Jordan Hooper for every Nebraska girl who has a dream of playing with the Huskers, look at Jordan Hooper. She came at a little Alliance, Nebraska, and rose to the highest heights and a 2,000-point scorer, uh, a Big Ten champion. She's played all over the world. That's what I'll remember about Hooper was she is the dream of every small-town Nebraska player who has come to Pinnacle Bank Arena and watch the Huskers, and to me, that's the most impressive thing about uh, what we're honoring on Sunday. And she deserves a PAC PBA, right? Oh, she deserves a PAC Memorial Stadium. You know, <laughs> uh, Hooper is such a humble person, and this is what I've always said. She was born to be a basketball player. If the family had had a football player, they should have named them Elway Heisman. I mean, Jordan Hooper was that born to play basketball she represented this university better than anyone ever could uh, she played at a, at a top level deflects praise to her teammates talks glowingly about her hometown there's no one who deserves this and she deserves a full house on sunday she deserves it this husker women's basketball team deserve it as they have got a big matchup against indiana again you can get your tickets to be a part of the pack bba and all the excitement on sunday huskers.com slash tickets code appreciate it we'll look forward to hearing that the call from you and jeff coming up here in about uh 40 minutes or so enjoy being on with you jess thanks and that is Matt Cotney. Stick around to hear the call of Nebraska women's basketball taking on Wisconsin here tonight at 8 o'clock. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back with more coming up after this. Things that impair you come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are the shape of beer and liquor bottles. Others look like cigarettes but aren't cigarettes at all. These are the things we know impair us, the things our parents warned us about. What we're not always aware of is our new prescription or the over-the-counter medicine we picked up just for allergies or a bad cold. See, it doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If you are impaired, driving is deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, 
Chiropractic Care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. All right, a couple of score updates for you. We talked about the Indiana women will be here on Sunday for PAC PBA. They lead Michigan at the half, 51-34. Michigan's pretty good, but Indiana all over them, up 17 at the break. Uh, that's the part one of a doubleheader on BTN tonight. The Oscars game with Wisconsin will be the nightcap. On the men's side, Michigan State just throttling Penn State 50-26. to 26. They are about to go to the half in East Lansing. And for the Oscar men, you want Michigan State to get on a roll here. That's going to be, I think, one of the better wins for Fred Hoiberg's team this year is that win over Sparty a couple of weeks ago. You want Michigan State to kind of get on a roll, and they're just drilling Penn State right now, Minnesota, Michigan, will play uh, 8 o'clock. Those are on Peacock tonight. As Peacock's got a little bit more college basketball headed your way. So uh, looking forward to that. A couple of other notes. Hayden Kubik, who uh, left Nebraska's volleyball program after the national championship match a few weeks ago, got in the transfer portal. She has selected Tennessee as her new destination. No word yet on Maggie Mendelson where she may end up. And Miles Farmer, Jess, back in the portal. Uh, he left in August here, went and joined Travis Fisher at Syracuse. Syracuse made a coaching change at the end of the year, so Miles back in the portal. I have nothing bad to say about Miles. I hope he lands somewhere, but, boy, on to maybe his third school in just a couple of years. So the portal. And Nebraska, no news from this couple of visits that they've had so far. Five expected to be here starting yesterday through the weekend. A couple of them were at the basketball game last night. Nobody has committed yet. Cole told you at the top of the hour, though, Will Howard, the former K-State Wildcat quarterback, is committed to Ohio State, and the Huskers will play the Buckeyes in Columbus uh, next season. So we may see Will Howard, the former K-Stater. The portal keeps rolling along, Jessica, in all these sports. Yeah, it really does. You know, with Miles, he, he entered the portal pretty late in the game last year, right? And so maybe not quite the fit that he was hoping for, but... Wish nothing but the best for him. He was always great to me. We were big fans of him here on the Huskers Radio Network, but hopefully he finds a, a good spot. But, uh, yeah, it is. it just continues to be um, every, I, I guess, every cycle. Like, God, ah, is it, you, you think maybe with the COVID numbers going back down that you see the numbers in the portal going back down, but it just um, seems to be where we are now. I think everybody thinks the grass is always greener on the other side. All right, uh, I'm in. I'm going to wrap up this conference in Orlando tomorrow. I might have time to jump on board with you for a little bit tomorrow night. Would that that be okay? I mean, are you going to rub it in my face how bad I did the last week of bowl bowl picks? That's that's really not my style to do that. Uh-huh. But, uh, right. I right. might do that. We're not done tonight. A little bit left for us. Next hours will lead you into Husker Women's Broadcast at the bottom of hour number two with Matt and Jeff. So don't go away. Great first hour. Always good to hear from Dylan and obviously Matt Cody. Hour two coming up next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, Chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. At your Ford dealer, making sure your Ford vehicle is running in tip-top shape is a big deal, and it just got a little bigger, starting with the Works Package. It includes a synthetic blend oil change, tire rotation, vehicle checkup, and more. Only your Ford dealer has factory-trained technicians and Ford parts, which makes it the best place to keep your vehicle or your next new Ford running at its best. 
Call to schedule service now or schedule with the Ford Pass app. They'll get you in and back on your way fast. Get the works package and get ready to go. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Not All Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! 